Hello friends, today we're talking about the three layer cake and that is the fly lady system as a whole. I call it the three layer cake because it helps me understand and organize the fly lady system into simple steps. The first layer of the cake is your routines. Routines, something you do every day or almost every day. Things like get up in the morning and do your morning routine. Things like cleaning up after dinner with your after dinner routine. Things like going to bed with your before bed routine. Things like doing your laundry. Now that's not every day, but it's a lot of days. Things like doing your paper clutter, that's six days. Those are routines. Clutter checks are routines. So that's in that first layer of your cake. Now this is gonna be sweet when you're done, okay? Second layer is the basic weekly plan. So it's different than routines. It's the basic weekly plan. It's that thing that you do every week on a certain day of the week, not every day of the week, but on a certain day. So your basic weekly plan on Monday for the at-home homemakers is the weekly home blessing hour. So you do your routines and you do the second layer of your cake, the weekly home blessing hour, which is the, week, which is the basic weekly plan for Monday. Okay. On Tuesday, it's free day. That is the plan. That's the basic weekly plan for that day. Does free day mean you don't do routines? No, it doesn't. You still do your routines, but you don't have anything to do that's a basic weekly plan. And I also have taken away your zone, which is the third layer. The third layer is zones, but we'll get there in a minute. We're right here on the basic weekly plan, the second layer. So on Tuesdays, it's free day. On Wednesdays, it's planning and desk day. So you do your routines and your planning and desk day is your basic weekly plan. On Thursday, routines, the first layer, and the second layer is errand day. Friday, routines, and the basic weekly plan is car and purse day and date night. Saturday, routines and Family fun day, no zone for at-home homemakers. Sunday, routines that apply to Sunday and renew your spirit day, okay? So those are the first two layers of the cake. The third layer, the top layer is zones. Now the zones change for the whole week. So if you were in zone one last week, you'll be in zone two this week. Zone two just happens to be the kitchen. So your week would look like this. On Monday, you would do your routines. You would do your basic weekly plan on Monday, planning and, I mean, on Monday would be um, weekly home blessing hour. And then you would do zone two, the kitchen for 15 minutes. See how that breaks down? So it's just 15 minutes in the zone. Now, that's the way I describe the cake. It's the base is the routines, the middle is the basic weekly plan, and the top is the zones. But when you're actually performing these, the, the routines are sprinkled throughout the day. The basic weekly plan comes after the zone. The zone work is only 15 minutes in a specific spot, okay? So that's how that works. And you only work four days of zones. If you're an at-home homemaker, Monday, you're skipping Tuesday, it's a free day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's no Saturday and there's no Sunday. If you're an at-home homemaker, that weekend is for you and your family. You're just doing the routines that are applying to the weekends, that's it. Then you're having family fun day and or, I mean, or, and on Sunday you're having renew your spirit. If you're a payroll homemaker, it's still a three layer cake. The first layer is still routines. Routines happen every day, even though you work. I worked for 40 some odd years. So I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like with children, without children, married, not married. I know what that working shift work. I know what that looks like. Working weekends, not working weekends, being a manager, being an employee. I know what those, those work scenarios look like. So, and I have lived them. Here's what it's gonna look like if you're a payroll homemaker who works like 40 hours, whether you're working from home or not. You're going to have your, your routines that you do every day. You're gonna do some in the morning, some when you get home, some before bed. That's the first layer of your cake. The second layer of your cake is the basic weekly plan. However, we're going to rearrange it a little bit because you're not at home during the week. 
during the middle of the day, most likely. So you're going to rearrange it to work with your schedule. Now, if your schedule, you're not off on Saturday and Sunday, but you may be off on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're going to have to adjust it and tweak it to fit your situation. I'm going to give the generic one for people who work during the day, Monday through Friday. So on Saturday, a payroll homemaker would do the routines as well. And then on Saturday, they would do the weekly home blessing hour. That's the basic weekly plan from Monday that the at-home homemakers do. So payroll people take it from Monday and stick it up here on Saturday morning. And then the zone for the week is zone two. In this example, the kitchen, you're gonna take those four units of 15 minutes, squeeze it together into an hour, and that's gonna be Saturday morning as well. So it's gonna go routines, zone for an hour, basic weekly plan for an hour. Then you've got the rest of the day, not counting your, your uh, routines. You still have to do your routines, but to enjoy your family. Then you're going to take the, on Sunday, you're going to do your routines. You're gonna have, um, renew your spirit. And then Sunday afternoon, you're going to take Wednesday's weekly home, basic weekly plan. Wednesdays, which is planning a desk day, and do that Sunday afternoon because Tuesday there is no job. So you took the Monday job, put it on Saturday from the basic weekly plan. Tuesday is a free day. Wednesday is planning a desk day. You put that on Sunday. Thursday is errand day. You're going to be able to do that on your way home or on your lunch hour. So pick up your groceries. Don't go shopping for them. Order them on Sunday afternoon. Pick them up one day during the week that you prearranged or have them delivered, okay? If you can. If you can't, you're gonna to have to go shopping on your precious weekend, which is gonna take time. Maybe you can delegate it. If you live in a small city that doesn't have the option of having your, your groceries delivered or having your groceries uh, ready for you and you can just go pick them up, then you're gonna to have to send somebody to the grocery store, it might be you. Make sure you don't lollygag, lollygag in there. You're not puttering. You're going through there with a mission to get your stuff done and get out, okay? All right, so that's errand day. Maybe you have something else on errand day. Maybe you've got some things that you decluttered on Saturday in the back of the car that go, are going to the Goodwill. That could be an errand on your way to work or on your way home. So that's how we squeeze in errand day. And then car and purse day is something you can do on your lunch hour because you're just going out to make sure that there are no bottles, cans, baby blankets in the car. So if there are things that need to be thrown away, go get them out on your lunch hour and throw them away. If it's something you need to bring into the house when you get home, then put them in um, a bag and stick them on the front seat or stack them on the front seat ready to go when you get out and vow not to let those things collect in your car anymore. This is not cleaning your car. This is just getting the stuff out of it, clearing your car. That's car and purse day. Uh, uh, your purse you can also do in your lap at your desk. You don't want to dump it out in a in a shared space, but like the break room. But you're going to just get take care of that in your in your lap at, on your break or whatever. All right, or when you get home, you know, in the evening, uh, you might want to go through your purse. And that is the basic weekly plan except for Saturday is family fun day, which you're still gonna have time for. If you get those two hours done in the morning, you get up at your regular time, you're gonna have plenty of time for family fun day. And Sunday is renew your spirit day. And later in the afternoon when it's quiet, you're gonna do your planning and desk day, okay? Now, that's it. So that's your three layer cake. Your zones happen on Saturday. We've sprinkled and finagled the basic weekly plan so that some of it's on the weekend, some of it happens throughout the week, and then those routines happen three times a day, four times a day, depending on what they are, okay? So it makes it easier. It's less, to me, it's less confusing when you think of it as a three-layer cake. The base is the routines, the middle is the basic weekly plan, what's different on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the zone is on top, and that's that one hour or four 15 minute units of a particular room of your house each week. Okay. All right. That's it. I hope this helps you. I, I put this out for some of the newer ones who may not have heard this before, but this is my spin on the fly lady system that I believe makes it so much easier. If you need more information on the fly lady system, from my point of view as a fly lady, go to how to do the fly lady system for newbies. It is an old video, but it's still good, good, good. So go watch that if you haven't done so. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have 
a beautiful day and I hope that you always remember that you are beautiful. So be beautiful.